my birthday! By the time you're seeing this video, I'll have been 18 for a while now. It could be for a few hours or maybe a whole day. Depends on how productive I am, which I don't have high hopes about. So let's take a look back at what I can do now. Apparently, I can join the military, register for the selective service, buy a lottery ticket, sign a contract, change my name, adopt a child. Then again, this list is only for US citizens. So I don't know if I can actually do all of that stuff. Looks like we only have one way to find out. I'm gonna be a mother. So in this video, I'll just be talking about some preparations I have for my first birthday party in like, I don't know, six years? And also some thoughts about growing up. First of all, let me show you the arsenal. Whoa, you're slipping. Stay with me. So first, let me show you the arsenal we have. I used to have all of these mega huge birthday parties in the elementary school and after i went to high school we just kind of stopped doing them but now i'm reliving my childhood again okay it's a it's a poetic moment since i'm turning 18. first on the list big boy big kabloomy boy turn this and the confetti just goes if you're wondering how i'm doing this i have a i, I cut a hole in my mask Party strings, you go purr, 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 and you spray all these colorful spaghetti on people. Party whistlers, they're just whistles, but they have these like little spinal things connected. So if I blow on them, they're gonna like purr, like that. I'm so good at English. We have this like streamer that says happy birthday. And for a second, I thought that uh, I had to go look for the other alphabets all on my own. Meaning that I thought this entire streamer was just gonna say <laughs> Like, it just <laughs> I have some balloons Which I'm going to force my friends to help blow for me It is my birthday, what I say goes And that is basically it My strongest memories about thinking of the whole growing up thing The concept of it Was back when I was in elementary school I remember distinctly being nine and going down the stairs of my school thinking that I would never reach this age. So I just not thinking about it that much. Whether it was because I had the whole Peter Pan imagination that I'd never grow up or something much more gruesome than that, who knows? By the way, we're here now. Sound the alarms. You know, when I was born, my mom told me that the doctors did a little oopsie. Apparently, they were calling her to feed me because I was crying of hunger like a little bitch. But turns out it was the wrong kid. I was sleeping soundly in the bed next to it. Because unlike most pathetic squishy mortals, I do not feel hunger nor fear. Being 18 feels like it's gonna be a wild ride, man. It's like all of a sudden my brain is telling me that there's certain things I must do now before I turn 20 and begin my process of withering away from old age because this is supposed to be my prime which doesn't make any sense, you know? Like, why, why, why can't every year be my prime? I'm pretty prime myself, it's my life, I can make the rules I'm gonna be in my prime in my 60s it's weird how being 15 was only 3 years ago, but I have grown to be a completely different person from who I was back then. From pathetic and miserable, to even more pathetic and miserable. I'm joking, alright? I feel like I've developed more as a person over the past few years. There's a lot of things I want to go back in time and slap myself about. But there's also certain stuff I wish I could have comforted old me about. That, you know, hard times aren't forever and things do in fact get better. As mushy as it sounds, it is indeed true. Well, now that I am going to be held legally viable for all the crimes I commit, it appears that I will no longer be able to perform felonies. If you are under the age of 18, please do so under my name. I am kidding, do not do that. Because as we all know, Murder is okay if you're a minor. Hi, so, uh, Peep, the birthday fit, it's got a little bit of a titty. Oh, the scandal. Kind of looks like a black tampon if you look at it this way. So, I guess we can call this like an early birthday present. 
I got this from Divu. It's called a Pixu 64. It's like a digital picture frame. And I put a cake on it because it's birthday theme. Links in the description if you want to get one. Thank you, Divu. Very cool. Oh, hold on. What? Is the, is the birthday dress supposed to be this short? Hold on. <laughs> there was no titty anyways. Wonderful. This is... wait. Oh! Shoulders? What are we? In a brothel? There was another run of this, but in red. But I think I like the black one better. This is how it looks like from the back. Ignore my back knee. Actually, look at it all you want. Nothing scares me anymore. I have dumped all insecurities behind. I am an adult. Whee! Whoa! Oh, that's too much jumping. So the party starts at 2 p.m. My friends are coming over. Uh, the birthday, the cake and... No. The cake and everything is going to happen at uh, 7 p.m. or something. I just want them to come early because I love spending time with my friends and I care about them all really a lot. And also I would like some free manual labor to set up all the party stuff. So I'm going to college soon, about to start the good old independent life. I've kind of been living like a hermit the past few years. I don't usually go out and I also can't drive. Honestly, the quarantine has got nothing on me. I still don't go outside. This is why introverts are the most superior life forms. Ha 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 ha. Ha pee pee. Ha pee pee. For the past years of being in primary school and high school, I've never really been the popular student. I've just been kinda in the shadows with my own little group of friends. I don't talk to teachers outside of when I absolutely have to, and that's always been a little regret of mine. I remember when I graduated high school, I saw my classmate talking to my art teacher and hugging her. I really wanted to hug my art teacher too and tell her how much I appreciated her, but I just never worked up the courage, so I just walked away and I never got to see her again. Huh? Hey, what mechanism is this? <laughs> Which is why in university now, things are gonna change. Do you guys ever just have the urge to completely shift your personality when you have to go to a new school for the mysterious effect? Well, I'm a bad actor, so that never worked for me. But this time, <laughs> I'm going to attempt to become the classic extroverted character in university who has his shit together. <laughs> Oh, here is the Wow! Hello, I hack Feline's YouTube. I'm YouTube. My eyeliner look unbalanced. We'll be right back. He's a He's a I I how long will that last? I have no idea. But it's university! No one cares about anything. I can fake it until I make it all I want. That, the example they gave her, there's not even a string, it's just floating in thin air. <laughs> and that's what you have to base it off of. Now before my own, quite a few of my friends have had their birthdays already. People I met when I was 4 or 13 are all turning into legal adults this year. And it's weird. It's weird to imagine that the silly kid who sat next to you in class talking about pop idols is now going into university. And then in the blink of an eye, they'll be joining the workforce, maybe making their own family. It's rough sometimes to know that I'll never have that experience again of doodling in class with friends while the teacher isn't watching, waiting for high school exam results nervously together, and giving each other that look when a student starts beefing with the teacher. I never realized it, but one day it all just ended. Pizza! What the fuck is the pizza? It's a square! <laughs> 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 Since I transferred to a school in a whole different country when I was 15. For three years, all the close friends I had got to grow up together while I met new people. 
And now we are reuniting as people who just aren't quite the same anymore, yet still present. You never really know how to appreciate some stuff until it's gone, I guess. They were right. The old people were right all along. We should have listened to the boomers. Hey, <laughs> I don't feel too sad about it though. There's not anything we can do to stop the flow of time. Fighting against the current of the river does nothing except wear you out more. I'm just glad I get to keep these memories and move on. High school life wasn't always great. Overthinking, bullying, drama, it all messed up a lot of it. But I'm grateful that the majority of my experience was somewhat positive. I know a lot of people don't get the luxury of looking back in their youth with fondness. It's shiny the <laughs> shiny. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. See <laughs> one. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a big thing with growing up. You begin to realize that all the stuff that you thought was huge and life ending turned out not to be that bad. It doesn't invalidate how you felt at the time, it's just that you learn to grow around that experience and it becomes easier. Birthday! I need an eye there. I still have a huge fear about growing old and death, especially. Mm hmm. Oh, for our breaking news, I have phobia of Kadai Dai. But I've learned like being able to age at least is a privilege in of itself. There are many people who never got to grow up. I can't stop it. I just have to accept things. And uh, I can't wait to see how much I change and grow in the future. I am 18 now, things will get better and I'll figure stuff out as I go on. I'm gonna be older. Thank you for joining me for so long. I'm saving you.